Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three different Bean Fields bean chips. I have the nacho. Pico de gallo and jalapeno nacho. The company contacted me on Instagram and they asked if we would like to try these and I said, sure. I looked at looked up what the product was and it, it was something that I knew that we would be interested in. I knew a lot of you all would be interested in. So that's why I agreed to really review these for you. They are actually made in Los Angeles, California. Um, it says uh, the bold bean chip packed with protein and fiber, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan. Simple ingredients, positively addicting. A big bean fact. Are beans veggies or protein? Psych, they're both. They're packed with so much goodness that they're too big for just one food group. So, it says learn why beans are a big deal at beanfields.com. One ounce, 28 grams, about 11 chips are 130 calories. These are both the same. Way. Okay. So these are the nacho. Ooh, darker than I was expecting. I was expecting it to look like the front of the bag, which is a light colored chip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That looks like a slice of pizza. Mm. That's very good. I the like texture the texture. Is much lighter. Yeah, the texture is softer than mm -hmm. a typical tortilla chip. More of a crumbly. Mm -hmm. You would have a harder time dipping these because they'd break all over the place. Yeah, I don't think. Unless you're you know what the salsa. There's so much flavor in these, I don't mm -hmm. think you need to add any dip. I mean, no. you, yeah, you could put them in salsa and that would be really good. But I, I, I like the texture of them. Yeah. I like it. That softer they're, texture. Yeah, I really do like now, them. Now, that being said, I don't really get a cheesy nacho flavor. There, no, I don't either. They do have a, a they do have different seasonings going on in right. there. Right, but I, nothing I would say. Ooh, that's nachos. Right, I agree. Because I'm expecting nachos. I'm thinking a, a spicy, cheesy flavor. Yeah, like a Dorito. Yeah, not maybe not even that strong, but at least something, something like something like that. And yeah. Okay, these are the pico de gallo, which is basically uh, salsa with lime and cilantro. That has more flavor. That's kind of what I was expecting the nacho to be like. Mm -hmm. Except to have a little more cheese flavor with the nacho. Mm. I like those a lot. Those I do too. Once again, same texture. Mm -hmm. That was crum literally crumbly. Mm -hmm. It's like they've ground up beans and shoved them I in mean, the bowl. I mean, they're all together in the bag and they don't come apart like Kevin's making them sound. They're not. No, but when you chew them, they, 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 they break up into smaller parts. Yeah, they, they have a very nice texture. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't, uh, they're not as pointy, so they don't uh, get caught in the side of your mouth or something. These are probably made with black beans too, which you hate. Yeah, black beans is the number one ingredient. In these? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would never know that. Mm -hmm. Really? I can taste it a little bit with the black beans. I cannot stand black beans. <laughs> So they've covered them up well on these, huh? Yeah, I'm shocked. Oh. I really am shocked because I do not like black beans at all. There is this meal when we go to Disney and there's this Mexican uh, restaurant uh, we always go to. Kevin always has to tell them, no black beans because I do not like them. So I'm very surprised. This is the one I'm looking most for. Jalapeno nacho. Jalapeno. I love jalapenos. Again, I don't get the nacho flavor like I'm hoping for, and, but you get a little tingle in your throat when you once you've eaten one. I got a tingle, but I didn't get any jalapeno flavor mm. at all. I agree. You get a little tingle, but the flavor, the flavor with the nacho, whatever they're called, nacho, is just not very strong. Yeah, uh, with these, truly, it's all tingle, and it's now that I've had two, it's all over my tongue. Mm -hmm. It's all tingle. But I swear I don't get any jalapeno mm. flavor at all. No, I kind of get the bean flavor, the, the chip flavor. That's all you really taste is that beany chip flavor. I, I still don't get black bean though, which is astonishing. No, it's not that strong. Okay, astonishing. Mm. Um, yeah, I the wish... nachos for me are kind of a 
I won't say I failed, but they're they're just not. They don't live up to what I was. They're expecting. not as strong as what you wanted. They're nothing like what I wanted. <laughs> right. but yeah, there's just I just this the nacho one. It just they need more of it. They cheese. need cheese. Or yeah. Something there. Um. But and then the jalapeno. Uh, well, see, and I'm wondering. Uh, I don't know what vegans eat. Do vegans eat cheese? I don't know. They got non. They got non. They do. Okay, that's what it is. Non dairy cheese. It's that's what it is. You have to have specific cheese for vegans. So maybe because they wanted to say they were vegan, maybe that's why it's not what we are used to. Right. Could be. But if you are vegan, you might be like, oh well, this is completely normal. Um, but even if they added a salsa flavor or something, there needed to be something else here. Yeah, more onion flavor, more tomato flavor, something. Oh. Yeah, I agree. So my favorite of the three is the pico de gallo because 100%. it has the most flavor of all three. Mm -hmm. And it's got a really good flavor. Texture is unbelievable, and uh, I commend them for covering up that black bean flavor because I would have never, never known that. So. Thank you uh, very much, Beanfields, for sending these to us. Mm, we appreciate good. it. They're very good, yes. We appreciate it very much, and thanks for watching.